humans have always observed the sun. Three thousand years ago, the Chinese were using very thin jade disks to be able to track sunspots. About two thousand years ago, Maya astronomers were using the zenith passage of the sun, when the sun is straight overhead, to be able to devise a very precise calendar. A thousand years ago, Polynesian navigators used the sun, the moon, and the stars to be able to guide their open ocean canoes across all of the Pacific. About 500 years ago, Galileo in Italy was the first astronomer to point a telescope to the sun, and he was able to track sunspots. And today, we have a whole variety of excellent high-resolution ground-based telescopes that can tell us information about the details of the solar surface. In addition to these kinds of observations, we really have to go above the Earth's atmosphere. That's because there are radiations that come from the sun that do not penetrate our atmosphere, and so we need to launch satellites with special instrumentation so that we can observe the sun at different wavelengths, such as ultraviolet, extreme ultraviolet, and x-rays. Ever since NASA started to launch the first solar satellites, we began to understand there are different kinds of phenomena that are not observable from the ground. And these types of phenomena are the solar flares, the solar wind, and the coronal mass ejections. Solar flares are high energy radiation that emanates from the sun. And this very high energy radiation can actually affect our communications in space, our satellite electronics, and also the health and safety of our astronauts. The solar wind are particles, charged particles, that emanate from the sun. It's really an extension of the solar atmosphere, and the whole solar system is actually within the solar atmosphere because we are all embedded in this solar wind. The other phenomena that we have understood takes place as a result of solar activity is called the coronal mass ejection. And these are enormous solar storms in which you have material from the sun that is charged material that will explosively emanate the surface of the sun and travel through space. In the year 2018, NASA plans to launch a very special and unique mission. And this mission will actually get as close to the sun as we've ever been. The distance between the Earth and the Sun is about 150 million kilometers, or 93 million miles. And we're going to place this probe at about 4 million miles from the Sun to be able to send us the most detailed information about the mechanisms that drive the magnetic activity of the Sun, about the surface of the Sun, the solar wind composition and behavior, and also what causes the heating of the corona to such high temperatures, and what causes the coronal mass ejections and this kind of instrumentation is what NASA brings to us so that we can extend our senses and really understand the sun's phenomena in greater detail.